Today is National Bring Your Dog to Work Day. Where is Barnaby when you need him around here? Crash's dog. While many people are working from home, that hasn't stopped some of our new co-workers from joining in on the daily grind, benefiting us more than we actually know. Jerry Carnes has the story. We have such a good time together and he definitely entertains my coworkers through all the Zoom video calls. I couldn't imagine life without him and I definitely couldn't imagine going through the pandemic without them. A lot of people are discovering, hey, working from home isn't so bad in some ways. We've seen both correlational as well as experimental <laughs> evidence that having a pet improves people's self-esteem, helps them deal with stress, helps them perform better in a bunch of challenging situations. There's all these great studies that show that if you bring people in and give them really challenging math problems, they face a lot of stress, but if they're just allowed to be in the same room with their pet, they not only feel less stressed, but they actually perform better on the math problems. Uh, we see the same sort of benefits from pets as we do from uh, everyday interactions with people. While our pets may be much needier than our other co-workers, remember it's all out of love. He has this need that he always has to be sitting on my lap. And my co-worker doesn't like to sit in his own chair. Even though I'm on calls and in meetings, he still wants to sit on my lap. A few times a day, she'll demand attention. I think our pets have been enjoying this like amazing time when everyone's around in terms of their own evolution as domesticated animals kind of built the sort of pack mentality with people. That's why they like to kind of be at our feet all the time. And although we don't know what the future holds, Alan believes this extended time with our pets may actually lead to new company policies when we return to the office. The sort of domestic tendencies that they have have really increased the bonding that we experience now. We may be surprised at how attached we've become to our pets. You know, the data are pretty clear that if you can have animals in the workplace, there's lots of benefits. So maybe some places will reconsider, you know, some of their policies on pets. <laughs> They put glasses on them. That's cute. I think I'll get a hamster or a gerbil or something like that. All right, if you have uh, something you want Jerry to investigate, go ahead and hit him up on Facebook or Twitter.